Welcome everyone, and in this video, we're going to be doing something that I actually made. I made the video, I didn't post it or anything or edit it. Um, I made it months ago about using chat GTP and chess and how I'm using it to study. Um, the reason why I decided not to release it because it just it actually became out of date of what I was doing with chat GTP. Now, um, and you also see the setup's a little different. I'm actually in my streaming setup right now. Um, that's why there's stuff in the background and not as good quality because I'm using a webcam, but other than that, um, this is what this is. Now, when I see people using ChatGTP online, it's mainly to play with it and like have ChatGTP act as a, a AI person, a stockfish or whatever. Um, now, the problem with that is ChatGTP likes to add um, moves or illegal ideas into things. So it would say move queen to b5, but in the path there might be a black pawn in a way, or it might just add a an extra rook to the game. So that's why I think people are doing it wrong, actually. So the best way I find it to do it is actually what you're doing is creating a kind of coach almost with it. Um, and the way I'm doing it is also uh, evaluate my games, maybe give me ideas for openings or books to read on specific things. And if I want to do like, hey, evaluate my game based on this, on my mistakes, what do I need to study to improve? And maybe give me a book recommendation. So in this video, we're going to kind of build one from the ground up basically. So this is going to be building a chat GTP coach from the ground up. So yeah, let's go ahead and do that. Let me... Switch this over here to this. And here's chat GTP, you can see. Um, this is a new one. Um, this is new, a new um, chat right here. So what we're gonna do is actually copy what I've used here. And if you want, I will actually post the starting prompt at the bottom, um, which is this here. Um, now, it does say that if you look here, I, I named it Bobby. You don't really need to name it anything. You can just leave that out. I just figured doing to make it more personal for me. Um, and honestly, you can just do a random name if you want. Or not, you don't have to do a name. Again, this is just to make it more, again, personal and make it feel like more I'm talking to someone, not just a ether of, ether of information out there. So that's what it is. Basically what this is, it's telling that ChatGTP, you are now the most talented chess player of all time named Bobby. Uh, a grandmaster with the ELO of 2882, which is around the highest you can get. I mean, there's up with 3,000. So actually, let's just change that to 3,000. And we'll change my notes to 3,002. Um, I did that because that was what I think when I looked at this Magnus was um, for his ELO, but it doesn't matter. You can you can actually admit the ELO. Um, I did that just so that it's a high level. It's acting as like a super grandmaster. So, and this is something new I'm adding to it, which is knowledge of these great players. Um, you can add whoever you want. This is just to kind of allow the AI to basically think like these people, and tell them. And here's, um, yeah, it's just how to think like these people. Um, and basically, the job is assist me in my training, become a great chess player. Also. You also be able to evaluate the games that I give you in chess notation with a summary of what I need to study or to do uh, to better my game. Also, when I ask for book recommendations, you'll give me the best that you can. If you understand, say yes. Um, and the yes is just basically um, adding that it uh, will then basically <clears throat> tell them that if you understand this, respond yes. So that's what this is. So what enter it? Will that generate? And there we go. Yes, I understand. I'm here to help you improve your chess skills by valuing your games. By summaries, suggestions, area study, and recommendation relevant books, please provide me with a chess game you like me to analyze. And we can start it on your training journey. So here's what we can do. So let's actually go to one uh, let me go to a game actually. Um let me go to one of my games. Okay, here's the game I lost. I played recently. Um, what I'm going to do is actually go here to, to here. We're going to actually 
share. Yeah, I think share. And we're going to just copy this, all this here. We're going to copy that. Uh, and this one I actually lost on time, so. Um, let's go back to ChatGTP. There we go. Okay. And basically what I'm going to do is copy what I put here. And at the top here, I'm actually, if you hold shift and enter, it would, it spaces out. Here is a game that I lost. My user name is. So what that's doing is, the reason why I do your username, my username, because with the stuff here, it tells you the username in, of you and your opponent and what you're playing. So you need to go, I was playing white, but with this, um, especially with using chess.com, I'm basically telling them, hey, this is my username and this is um, what this is. So it tells me my ELO and all that stuff here, start time, end time, and it gives you all the information here. So we're going to hit this, and it's going to basically do that. And it basically pops up with a, with a uh, analyze it. Now, one thing you can do, it does this. Um, okay. So, okay, it, it just didn't analyze of this stuff here. Black with the game from this game. Here's some key takeaways of improvement. Complete your development and the opening focus on developing pieces. And one thing, it basically tells you right here, this is what you need to do to look at. So calculation, I know calculation is my thing. Piece activity. Yeah, um, and it gives you book recommendations because I told it to, like my system or pawn, power, and chess. Um, the thing with book recommendations, you have to be careful sometimes. I feel like it, it makes up books. Even though it doesn't, it does give you some book, good book recommendations. Recommendation. It, it's either books I can't find anywhere or I feel like it's not there. So um, it gives me that. So one thing I'm actually going to do is with this is... I want to actually minimize the information here. I'm going to do is can you summarize in one summarize in one um summarize this in in one area. on the most. Pawn structure. So basically pawn structure. Throughout the game, you made several pawn moves that led to weakness in your pawn structure allowed you to pawn to gain influence and target your position. Focusing on understanding and maintaining solid pawn structure. So there you go. So you can do that also which to narrow down what you want to study, basically. Um, one thing you definitely do is um, give it a list of games. So if you maybe you have like four games that you played that day and you want to analyze each of those games, basically what you would do is say is, hey, look at these four games I'm giving you uh, one by one. Don't do anything. And I want you to analyze the, all four of these games and what structures I need to work on based on these games. And it will honestly analyze each game, even though you said not to. Um, but after you give it the fourth one, what you can do is, out of all these games, what is the one area that I need to focus on the most? And it would look through that and kind of give you a recommendation. One thing you do is definitely is actually make it create a study schedule for you. So um, what you can do is can you create a daily study? You can create a daily study schedule. You can create a daily schedule for me. Um, break it down into days and hours a weekly weekly set spell weekly correctly weekly study schedule days and hours days and minutes to minutes to each essay section um also can also Add book recommendations and 
opens to study for both white and black. Uh, something like that. It, it doesn't really need to be like that. You can make it whatever you want it to be. Um, but you can do this to create a setting schedule for yourself and kind of plan on what you want to do with it. Um, so if you look at this for week one and two, uh, open principles make tactics. It gives me for day one and two, introduction to opening principles, uh, three minutes each, that, that, that. And you actually can break down the like, can you? Break this down or break this down daily. There we go. And it just will do that day one, do this, day two, that, so on, so on, like that. Um, and one fun thing you can do with this, and now this one, it's iffy because it's usually just taking a game. Um, what you can do is have it create an open for you. Now, again, I would play through it first because it will tell you to move a, a piece illegally, which I had a couple times to do this, but um, let's do this. Um, can you create a unique, unique chess opening for white? Unique and create a creative. Chess opening for white called the fucking chicken. There we go. And there it is. And it gives you it gives you an idea with this. It's just uh, um, it might not be like better. It just tells you like, hey, this is not gonna be anything, but um, so I will actually will post this down below if you want to play with it, you can. Um, I might play with it a little bit, and if there's some recommendation or something that is not really legal, um, then we can then just uh, go through that. So, yeah, that's just basically how I'm using ChatGTP to um, study chess. Um, now, I don't use it all the time. Um, in fact, I haven't used this in over a week because um, I'm actually focusing more on – I know what I need to study more on. So it's more tactics, more uh, puzzles, um, and reading some books, and just kind of studying from there and playing games, basically. And really, you're not going to get good at chess without playing video games. So that's why I've been more focused on puzzles and games and doing some chessable courses. But those are mainly for opens. So, And that's it for this video. I hope you find it somewhat um, enlightening how to use ChatGTP better with chess and not just use it to play against but use it to help study and help maybe spark some creative interests or creative ideas for chess so again, hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did please hit the like button and hit the thumbs up it helps me know that i'm doing something correctly and doing something that you guys enjoy and it also helps the algorithm to help find these videos so again hope you guys enjoyed this video and i'll see you guys in the next one